Hi guys, welcome back to the Bone Zone. Um, yeah, quick deck profile for you. Uh, so this card got released today, Cupid Pitch. Um, and yeah, it's a real wombo combo enabler. And I've come up with this janky ass deck that uh, is basically clear wing turbo. Um, so yeah. I'll show it off a little bit. I didn't get many good replays because it's a really long combo and people just quit. Like by the time I'm halfway through, most people have quit. So yeah, let's run through a couple of them. And I've got a couple of other replays where I didn't get a combo, but the duels were funny enough that you know I'll play them at the end. So yeah. Um, this deck relies on you getting uni zombie out to make your plays and we draw solitaire so that's a uni so uni is going to send the white baking from deck to grave um, yeah, which will add a prince and a white mare and this got the prince prince effect is going to fill the graveyard um, I believe we're going to send the other prince with uni. Yes, we are. Yeah, just fill the graveyard up a bit more. Okay, yeah, we'll get the king out using white prince and then we'll send the white mare to get the lady. Lady and uni zombie are going to go into Hellcat Firebreaks. Helka Firebreaks is going to summon a Violon Cube from deck. Um, a Violon Cube and a King will go into our Cupid Pitch. Isn't she lovely? Uh, she'll become level 7. Uh, Violon Cube will activate adding an Equip spell from our deck to our hand. Uh, this is also a new card, this pack. Fleurette de Fleur is an Equip spell that will special summon a level 2 or lower from our graveyard. Um, but negate its effect, we'll get the king back. King and level 7 Cupid into Hammer, the Conquering Bow. Um, he's just a wind level 8 monster. Uh, Cupid Pitch activates its effect, deals 800 damage and adds a monster with 600 defense from uh, deck to hand. We'll add Creation Resonator, which will special summon itself. Creation Resonator and Hammer, the Conquering Bow. Both wind monsters will go into Clear Wing Rider. Yep, and then we're going to set the Called by the Grave. Okay, our opponent is going to summon Thunder Dragon. We will chain Clearwing Rider. And then we're going to chain Hulk. And then we're going to chain Called by. Okay. So we negate the Thunder Dragon. Elk is going to summon out Shooting Riser Dragon. Clearwing Rider is going to summon out Clearwing Synchro Dragon and Clearwing Fast Dragon. Um, so basically we've got like, oh yeah, and then Shooting Riser is going to send the Mizuki for plays next turn. And normally I would hold off on this XL Synchro play. Um, but people were just quitting on me and I needed a replay where it showed off. <laughs> Normally I would wait until I've used the quick effect of whichever clearwing monster uses its effect first and then I would dump it for the XL Synchro. But yeah, I just needed to get the big boss boy on board and here he is. And yeah, as soon as he lands, the opponent quits. I still don't, I can't, don't even know that card's full name. It's just beast. I, the thing is, I accidentally bought that card um, when before I was built this deck. I meant to buy the um, Clearwing Synchro Dragon, and I accidentally bought the level 10 one, which, you know, it's ultimate rare as well, or ultra rare. Okay. Apparently this is some um, Asian YouTuber. Okay. The only reason I'm showing this replay is, yeah, I kind of get full combo, but there's an interesting aspect to it. Um, because I start with Chris, uh, creation, 
the creation resonator in my hand, um, it allows me to summon Nemesis Corridor off of the Cupid Pitch effect, which gets me a Colossus on board, as well as my final end board. Um, which is so it's interesting for that fact. Uh, yeah, the final board has potential to be larger. Uh, might even be worth running two Creation Resonators just in case, in case you draw it. Same thing as last time. Well on cube and king into cupid pitch. Well on cube gets this new spell card. Which another interesting thing, um, when you get Hammer the Conquering Bow, you can actually activate Fleurette the Fleur from Graveyard and equip it to that Synchro Monster. And it will increase its attack by 700 and yeah, basically Hammer the Conquering Bow is a double attack monster, so it's a 7,000 attack if you want it. Um, obviously I'm trying to go into the clear wing stuff, but it's not a bad card in its own regard. Same thing for clear wing Synchro Rider. Um, it's like a double pop if you manage to summon it on turn 3. Um, you roll the dice, you can destroy that many monsters. Yeah, so here's Corridor. Corridor is such a good card for this deck, uh, for any skill seven deck, really. Just play two copies of it. Yeah. Colossus is just a bad boy card. You know, there's a reason he's bad in the TCG. But yeah, anyway. I don't think our opponent's just going to quit, yeah, he's got nothing. Okay, yeah, and there's two other replays where I don't actually get the combo. Um, you know, you don't need to always get the combo. Sometimes you can just have a good fun deal. And I don't even know if this is, like, fun for the opponent, but... I like showing what Skull Servants can do. Yeah, you can see there's um I do have the droplets. I think basically droplets in Skull Servant, we've got, because we have cards that activate in graveyard, like it doesn't matter if we discard them from hand for effect or from the field for effect. Yeah. Absolute beast of a card. I mean god we're getting some reprints in the TCG. I think we got two more reprints of droplets coming this year, so yeah, no more like having to remortgage your house to get a place there. So yeah, we were um, two 5,000 attack kings on board. We've got Lady protecting them. We've got the Colossus. We've got the Droplets. Even Link Kuribo has a, like a neat little effect. Oh, and this is cute. Colossus protects himself. Lady protects the kings. He thinks he's gonna wipe our board. Nope. Yeah, that's what I like about this. Like, yeah, it's a nice replay for that fact alone. That and our two glorious royal wear kings. Yeah, and droplets can also just be a battle trap, like a battle trick. Here's another neat little trick as well, coming up. Um, yeah, Link Kuribo is a neat little card. This quick effect summon from Grave, absolutely blinding. Yeah, we knock our opponent down to 50 life points. The Colossus makes all the difference here. I'm sure he's probably got, yeah, he's got searches in his hand. He just can't activate them. Yeah, and final replay, this one's cute, only two turns. Okay. 
again you can see we don't really have anything I think it's droplet saves the day again um, but you will see how yeah last thing you need to see is the equip and the equip searcher yeah, and this guy has so many royal wares oh, watch this his royal wares coming out of his bum hole like this guy is rich I did face one other guy who had like like 90% of his deck was royal wares and I'm guessing he was a beta player or something. So yeah, they're going full combo. Again, I don't think I'm playing hand traps in this deck. Um, in one of the early versions, I was running them. Um, yeah, I've really gone off hand traps. I, I would just rather be able to like push through an interruption, have a card that can push through an interruption rather than a card that is an interruption, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, and there's the droplets, so we're gonna negate the three monsters that matter. And this is really nice. So we get the king, we pick up a princess. You'll see why. Yeah, discard the prince, prince effect, discard the princess, lower their attack, Mizuki. Summon the princess, princess effect, send the prince, prince effect, fill the graveyard, princess effect, lower their attack. Fluid the fleur, get back a white prince, go into Link to Rubo, fill the graveyard. And there's zero attack monsters. <laughs> it's just waiting to be run over by our king. I love that replay. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I am going to do a couple of videos of different skull server builds. Um, I know this is just a jank build, but maybe some more serious builds. Um, maybe a chaos build. Um, yeah, like a mill build. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, more videos coming up. Peace.